all doing welcome back to the youtube channel it's your favorite village boy mr kano baby right here in kinshasa congo kinshasa is such a beautiful city filled with vibrant people but there is something that i really did not understand in this country the fact that each and every passenger who is living Kinshasa has to pay $55 as a go pass. They call it airport tax. If you don't pay it, you're not flying. Of which I think it's ridiculous because the ticket to enter Kinshasa and the ticket to leave Kinshasa is extremely expensive, which I believe the tax is already included. I mean, this was an unexpected trip, but yeah, I have to leave Kinshasa and then come back again in the next 10 days. Going to a country which is seven years behind. And guess which country is? But hey, before I tell you which country I'm going, I want to tell you that I finally broke my virginity. I mean, not the other virginity, but today is my first time on a business class, man. And come on, we gotta share this experience together, right? So, yeah, stick and stay with me. Let me show you how a village boy found himself on a first class. Thank you. But before I share my first and unforgettable beautiful experience on business class, I must agree with Miss Trudy that nothing is impossible. Do you guys know that I've been promoting Ethiopian Airlines for the past three years with no strings attached? I told you guys that. I'm gonna let it happen. I'm here to promote Ethiopian Airlines. You see that thing? This is your boy, Mr. Maya, and today is 18th August 2018, and I'm embarking on a journey from Guangzhou to uh, Addis Ababa. So I hope you guys join me and let's have fun. Man. <laughs> That's Singaporean Airlines. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's Singaporean Airlines, and also Ethiopian Airlines over there. So I'm gonna sit here for extra 10 minutes because I've been here for the past two hours and uh, boarding has already started that's why i want to record this video um if you're an african watching me right now i just want to ask you when was the last time you patronized an african airline if you know you're one of those people who doesn't patronize african airline please change and start using african airlines today we have ethiopian airline we have kenyan airlines we have rwanda airline we have south african airline we have tanzanian airline you know use these airlines man this is a way to promote africa this is my fourth time of flying ethiopian airline within this year oh sorry we are in 2019 so it's my first time in 2019 but last year i used like three times you know it's a way to tell the world what we have so if you know that you're not telling the world what you have change and start using an african airline today i know it's kind of expensive sometimes it's really expensive to use an african airline but you know what africa needs money and africa needs your money it's so green blessed with so many natural resources a country like that people should not live in poverty but majority of the people are actually living in poverty. And that's the truth. Even though it's the world's richest country, but um, I feel like the people of the country are not exploiting what they have, but it's been exploited by non Congolese, which makes everything so sad. Yo, it's so beautiful out here, man. Look at that. There's the river. Congo River taking off. Looks like an island right there. Jeez. Okay. There's a, there's a city right there. The city down there. Do you know that I actually did not know that um, rivers can have ports? I never knew that rivers can actually have um, beaches until I came to um, Kinshasa so which means that traveling is a whole education there yeah? I've learned a lot of things that I never knew until I came to this country but yo I feel like this plane the takeoff is absolutely small man. some of the planes when they're taking off very scary but now we're panning we're panning right now oh my god look at that blue skies you know, as a as a as an aeronautical engineer, we say, plane is rolled. You know, plane is rolled. 
немножко английского. This is all as I open it. So yeah, this is how my table looks like. Africa to the world. The main meal is here. And um, it looks so different. I don't know how to explain to you because some of us, whenever we use the economy, our food is already packed. This one, your food is in a plate. It feels like we're at home, so it's more of a um, living in your house but on a plane money is good <laughs> money is really good eh? I mean I'm gonna tell you how I feel being in a business class for the first time it feels so different Africa 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 super sun I don't want to say the food is different. Otherwise, somebody out there will beat me, man. <laughs> but definitely, even in food in business class, it's so different. <laughs> I mean, it's the better version of the economy. You guys should increase the food next time. How can I be a big man like me? It's in the small food on a plate. <laughs> we got to the world. When I thought all this food is over, she brought another one. Another dessert. See, I'm just gonna tell you something here. In real life, I, I've never tried a starter uh, main meal and then dessert. I go straight to the point. I just go and look for my main meal and I'm done. So I feel like today, Ethiopian Airlines is breaking a lot of my virginity. They just broke my virginity of uh, being on a business class, virginity of trying three course meal. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. What was the last time you took Ethiopian Airlines? I just want to tell you, like, fly Ethiopian Airlines today, man. The best African airline. Um, also, he has more roots, and um, I can tell you a lot because I've been patronizing this airline for long, way back in China. My 
this is my first um, flight that I'm not paying five dollars. So you know, I never do stuff from somewhere, and I'm just gonna tell you that whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Whatever you're doing, people are gonna talk. But let them talk, yeah, and use whatever they say as a source of inspiration, as a source of drive that keeps you moving. Yeah. See, when I started my YouTube career, the people around me are the same people that were discourage me. Like, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. People laughed at me, yeah. But today, yeah, yeah, man. See, can you just leave a comment and say, thank God for Maya? Because I feel like God has done a lot. The same people that laughed at me today, they're saying we're so proud of you. So I'm telling you, never give up on your dreams. Keep doing it. Stay focused, stay consistency, and trust God. Thank you. I have to let you know that if you can fly in economy, once in a while, try and experience business class. As I would say that I'm not a big fan of luxury, but this was really worth it. I just want to say a big shout out to Tip and Eli for such a special treat. And also a um, big shout out to the country manager of Tip and Eli in Ghana. You know that I love you, yeah? <laughs> Thank you so much for this. Really, I appreciate it. Let me just enjoy myself. See you Enjoying tea while experiencing turbulence. One hour, 44 minutes remaining before we arrive at our destination. I just finished eating and um, you know what? Every lazy person after eating all they want to do is to sleep and um, you know those days when I'm a big fan of economy after eating you still have to sit down but I mean this one we gotta rest right so we have so many ways that you can even sleep man hi look at this guy so my leg as I press this my leg goes Plane, bro. <laughs> that experience alone is amazing man uh, it's just that it was so hard to film that's yeah. the thing wow. but privacy and stuff privacy and stuff but uh i might need to do something and uh yeah i'm definitely gonna see you guys in the morning 